Okay, today I'm going to be rebuilding an E60 pump, and I just want to go over some of the tools that we use uh, here when we rebuild E60 pumps. Let's start with this one so I can use it to point. Just a simple magnetic pickup tool. We use this to remove the pilot check piston on the valve blocks of these units. So we'll use this as a pointer, and we'll go over the basic tools that we have here. Complete set of wrenches. We start with 3 eighths, 7 sixteenths, half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, 3 quarter, 13 sixteenths, 7 eighths, and 15 sixteenths. None of these are a high end tool. Um, these are all cheapies. Um, I won't mention any names. You may be able to see some of them. Uh, some of them are good tools. Most of them are just, uh, you know, bought them off the back of a truck or at a tool sale at a local uh, swap meet or whatever. They don't need to be the top of the line. Uh, here we have an inch and a quarter socket, deep, a seven eighths deep socket, and uh, Let's take down this tool. This is a motor cap. This is a motor cap tool for the E47 units. We won't be using this today because we're rebuilding an E60. But this is a tool that uh, the directions are actually in the back of the shop manual for the E47. You can make your own. Well, we decided to make it out of aluminum because it's a softer material than steel. And we felt we'd be better off uh, having this part here contact the brushes. Uh, be made out of aluminum instead of steel. Here we have a pressure gauge, 5,000 psi. This one happens to be liquid filled. You don't need a liquid filled one. Um, we use this to check pump output pressure. Uh, sometimes we do it right here in the vise. We usually do it on the stand. But sometimes there's a pump that comes in that's questionable and we don't want to contaminate our stand with the, uh, the mix of oil and water and debris that are inside most of these units which you'll see shortly when we open up this E60 because very rarely do they come in clean. Alright, now let's pan down a little bit further on the tool board here and we'll go over a couple other tools that we often use. Uh, they call this one a hose hook. Well, that's for removing radiator hoses. Um, we also have our larger wrenches here. Inch and a sixteenth, which we don't use in the rebuilds. Inch and a quarter. This is the wrench that we're going to use to remove the B and C valves on this E60. Um, sorry I jumped back on you. Uh, quarter inch T-handle Allen key. Uh, it's good for starting the bolts, but very rarely will you be able to get out uh, some of these bolts that hold the angle blocks on. That's what we're using the Allen for. Uh, we have a scraper, nothing fancy, just a putty knife, spackle knife, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty thin. It's not a chisel type scraper. And we have a round file, which we usually don't use. And we have a triangular file. And we have an aluminum pipe wrench that we definitely will be using. Uh, so let's get, the pipe, uh, let's get the E60 up into the vise here. And uh, we'll get started. So I'm going to go get it. And we'll be right back.